Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. I'm Mr. D. And I'm Mrs. D. This, This is, is Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. D's Robotics. Robotics. We're here to show you our journey as FLL coaches. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. Welcome back! The purpose of this video is to teach you how to use your gyro sensor and also how to use your loop and your switch blocks. From the EV3G lobby, let's open a new program. Now that the workspace is ready, let's connect our EV3 using our Bluetooth. Let's program our robot using our gyro sensor. We're going to make it turn to the right. Remember, gyro sensor measures the robot's rotational motion and changes in its rotation. Think of angles. Now, we're going to use the loop block. From the flow control palette, we will drag the loop block to hold the sequence of blocks that we are going to use for programming. This will ensure that the sequence of blocks inside the loop block repeats. We can choose to repeat the block forever, certain number of times, or until certain condition is true. Remember, only the blocks that are inside the loop will repeat. In this sequence, we're going to use the count mode and we're going to repeat the sequence four times. The next block that we're going to be using is the switch block. Switch block can contain two or more sequences of programming blocks. Each sequence is called a case. Only one case will run each time after a test at the beginning of the switch. It can be a true or false case. If the case is true, then the true case will be completed. In this case, we're going to be using color sensor so that it can detect the color black. Otherwise, the false case will be carried out. <laughs> 